The Duke of Edinburgh handicap is next. This is a one mile and six furlong handicap. Uh, there's a big feel for this. They've got to go around a turn or two. And let's take a look at the full race. It's 0 to 90 this time. And seventh bride for Martin Leader was the top weight. Sealed his fate. Joshua Sutherland, Aboyer, Craig Beckwith for Finter Morton, David Robertson, Squadron Sandridge, Martin Leader. Hit the reset. Padre Hogan, Mission Patrol for Graham Clutterbuck, Deputy Code Stu Gray, Jammer Cottage and Quattro Catch for James Shea, Miners for Thomas Rogers, Dazzy Borley, Dan Hughes, Lady Army, Paul Rhodes, Red Rover, Patrick Hogan, Spread Eagle to Graham Clutterbuck, Still Game and Star Deli for Alex Cherry, a Gogli on Van Rensburg, Nashville Cracker, Vinnie Girard, Nightcap, Martin Cairns, Divine Blessings for Satyam and Orala Dell for Martin Cairns. So 22 then, this time, and they start off in front of the stand, and away they go. And the Satyam horses are both wide on the track, and they're going to need a little bit of luck to get across early on. And they spread right across the track, sorted themselves out through this first furlong, so they're going to this first turn. And Quattro Catch has got the inside and has got the lead with Divine Blessings come through into second, then sealed his fate. And Seventh Bride with Squadron Sandridge after that one. Then comes Lady Amy and Still game, hit the reset, this after that, looking towards the back, nightcap is the early back marker, but Quattro catch then, is the leader by two, two divine blessings in second, then the top weight seventh, bride is third, then comes Lady Amy fourth, with hit the reset on the outside, sealed his fate on the inside, Dazzy Bordy the Grey, then Squadron Sandridge and Mission Patrol after that one, wide on the track is Deputy Code, and wider still is Red Rover, but it's Quattro catch, who shows them the way, then into the final mile and a quarter, leading by two lengths, to Divine Blessings in second, then Lady Amy is third, hit the reset on the outside is four, then comes Sealed his fate and Squadron Sandwich, still game and Dazzy Borley, seventh bride is still sticking to that rail. Right and just behind that one is Miners, Mission Patrol, Deputy Code is still wide, looking to the back, Nightcaps the back marker, Star Deli has got work to do, but it's Quattro Catch into the final mile, leading by two, to Divine Blessings in second, Lady Amy is third, then hit the reset, with sealed his fate, getting a nice run up the inside. Squadron Sandridge is just wide of that one, then still game. And behind hit the reset, Red Rover is getting into it as well. Then comes seventh bride, Miners, Deputy Code for Finter Morgan trying to get going as well. And Nightcap is still the back marker, but it's Quattro Catch into the final six by a length and a half to Divine Blessings, Dazzy Bordy the Grey is now third, then still game Red Rover coming round the outside, Deputy Codes also making good progress, Squadron Sandridge is also getting a bit closer, Seventh Bright on the rail has just lost his place, he's a bit boxed in by Seal his fate, but it's Quattro Catch who leads at the moment then, with just over four furlongs to go, and Quattro Catch is two clear of Dazzy Bordy in second, Squadron Sandridge has now gone third, then still game, then Seal his fate, then comes Red Rover, the one that's bursting up the inside is Aboyer, Got a dream split up the inside run of seventh bride of the state there. She would have had that, but she's pulled out. And it's Quattro Catch from Aboyer has gone second. Then comes Squadron Sandwich in third. Then comes Serious Fate Divine Blesses. Dazzy Baldy, seventh bride's now got clear run. But it's Aboyer has come to challenge for the lead. It's Aboyer who goes on by half a length to Quattro Catch in second. Squadron Sandwich is in third. Then after that one comes Red Rover and seventh bride. They're into the final furlong and half. And Aboyer is still three lengths clear from Squadron Sandwich in second. Then comes Sealed his fate in seventh bride, then Dazzy Borley, but it's our boy here who's clear by three. That burst on the turn has put this race to bed, I think. Fast finishing seal his fate is trying to close, but it's going to be our boy here takes it. Our boy here, the winner sealed his fate second. Star Deli was third, then National Cracker for Finter Morgan and Squadron Sandwich. And our boy here. Got a dream run up the inside. The jockey kept his cool and waited patiently. Whereas one or two of the others tried to pull out and he just waited and went straight up the inside and took four ends out of the field. And that takes Craig back with the three as well. So, a good Royal Ascot for some of the lower trainers this year and Aboyer for Craig Beckwith is the winner sealed his fate for Joshua Sutherland was second Star Deli Alex Cherry third Nashville Cracker for Vinnie Gerard was fourth and Squadron Sandridge was fifth.